I smile, I laugh, and motivate. Motivate. Born in the struggle, I like know what it takes. That's why I smile, laugh, and motivate. I tell them with unity Smile at the real But the ones that was haters Will never be granted immunity Work with the willing But who I can slacking And sinking this shit But ain't new to me I'm living this life Keep my mind in the sky I'm Achilles the guy When I motivate So tell me who motivates Woo Man Every time I hear that song It blows me away y'all Make sure y'all go check that out uh, I think it's on all platforms. I'm pretty sure it is, man. Smile, laugh, motivate by your boy Just B. It's one of them songs that get you going. It gets you, it gets your heart racing. You feel me? And yo, welcome to the Just B Show, man. It's your boy Just B. And today we got my man, Mike Mountain, all the way from DC, finally on the damn show. <laughs> peace, peace, peace. How you feeling, champ? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How you doing? Oh, man, I'm feeling amazing, man. It's a blessing to finally get you on here. We've been through so much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> You've come a long way, man. Yeah, yeah, man. This has been way. crazy. Hey, but the most important part is we got you on here, man. Straight up. So yeah. glad to have you. Welcome to the show, brother. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, man, like I was telling you behind the scenes, man, it's about self-love, unity, and progression. But you are the topic. You know, I want you to just be yourself. We're going to talk about where you come from, what you're doing right now, where you plan to go. And, you know, we're just going to motivate the people together. So if you're cool with that, we can get started. All right, cool. Cool, let's do cool, it. Cool, cool. So D.C., man, I've never been to D.C. All right. Ever. Are you born, were you, are you from there originally, native? No, I was born in New Jersey. Okay, I was born okay. in, in Mount, Mount Holly, New Jersey, and, um, I, I moved there when I was uh, in. I moved to uh, to 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 the D.C. area to um, Landover, Maryland, to be exact. Okay. Um, okay. When uh when I was uh about four, three or four years old, three, mm -hmm. three or four. My parents got separated, and um, I moved down back to where my my mom's my mom and my dad's family was from. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying so. You know, I got family up north in New York. And I got family down here, so, you know. Yeah, yeah, love, love. That's cool, man. So, I mean, when you when you moved to D.C. Okay, so you went to D.C. young then. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been here all oh, yeah. my life, man. Oh, yeah, so that's, that's home now. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I feel it, man. So how is it in D.C.? What's the music culture like out there, man? Man, um, it's very, uh, it's very, it's very, Various man, it's various. It's, it's it's eclectic. It's a lot of different sounds. Um, a lot of live sounds. A lot of live instrumentation. Um, as you know, we you know if if you don't know, we've always had our own sound called Go Go, which is um, the the Go Go, you know, a fusion of um Latin gospel, okay. uh, jazz, rock, you know all types of you know what I'm saying African. You know, got a lot of African Congo congas and and um, you know, bongos and congas and, and stuff like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, drums, live drums and guitars, keyboards and you know, y'all. I've it's never a, heard of that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful I'm ashamed. thing. If you ever heard of uh, uh uh the song um I need money 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 by Chuck Brown. I need money. I need uh, money. I, talk I think about maybe money, I'm have, see. I'm gonna have to look it up. See now, that's I'm embarrassed. That's a go-go song right there. Chuck Brown. Chuck Brown and the Soul Searchers. Okay, the Soul Searchers. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? He's a he's an icon. Rest in peace, Chuck Brown. He's an icon uh, from our town. Um, he used to live in um Glen Arden. That that's 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 a part of Landover, Maryland. Um, he uh he he he's a he's, he's a legend, man. He's a legend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got Sugar Ray Leonard from around here. Okay, he's got a boxing, okay. He's got a boxing um a boxing a boxing uh uh training joint uh, uh you know what I'm saying up the street in Landover, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's dope. Park. You know what I'm saying? We got Kevin Brown, Kev Brown, one of you know, Martin. Yeah. Martin's from around here, Maya. Oh, you know, damn uh, for real. Genghis from the wire. You know okay, Big okay. G. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so y'all got some people. people. Uh, yes, Raheem Devon. Oh, you know? that's my dude right there. 
You know, a lot of people, Joe Claire, a lot of people, man, a lot of people. Um, Wale. Hey, now that's my dude. You know. Yo, shout out to Wale. Yo, hey, that's that's my guy right there. Yes, yeah, a yeah. lot of different people from there. A lot of different um, a lot of different um, special people from this area. You know. Right, right. So, I mean, how did you get into it, though? Well, I, you know, I just, you know, I was always a follower of music since I was a child. And, um, you know, I got up with kids in, in high school that was doing the same thing that I was doing. And I found out that they was actually making their own music. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It was on recording in, uh, and in four track and eight track studios and, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make demos and, you know, doing what we call home production. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and recording and writing songs, formatting songs to learn how to count my bars. You know, I learned I learned how to, um, you know, there's two bars in every verse. So there's like, you know, 16 bars in a, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a you know what I mean? 16, um, yeah. 16 bars in a, in a, in a, in a, in a high 16, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's just uh, you know, it was a process. It was learning and, um, you know, it just molded me into into who I was, and when I became a uh, a young adult mm -hmm. after college, I went ahead after I got school out the way. I finished online. I, I would recommend that to anybody, you know, go ahead and do it online because you don't have to worry about you know getting up and and, and being in class on time and you know all of that stuff. You, you just sign in when you need to and you take care of that. And, and learn a trade that you love to do for the rest of your life. And you uh, don't have to worry about making money. You always make money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yo, that right there, that's a very, very valid point right there. Yeah. Whatever you do, when they say that to y'all, understand they telling the truth. Whatever you do, find the thing that you love the most and make money from it. And then it, right. it becomes, it becomes, it's still fun. It's no longer work. That's right. Learn a trade or a skill. You know what I'm saying? It don't have to be college, but learn something that you can see yourself doing 20 years from now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, uh, you know, after I, after I got that out the way, I started publishing my own music. You know, I learned about CD Baby back in like 2006, 2005. Okay. And I started publishing my own music and my first album came out like in 2008. It was called The Warpath LP. Mm -hmm. Um. It was about like, you know, you know, it was a lot of, you know, rap had gone commercial at that time. It was a lot of commercial rap, you know, and um, the capital had moved to Atlanta. And I'm not hating on Atlanta. I'm not hating on the South. And, you know, D.C. is a part of the South, but it's also a part of the East Coast. Right. And I'm um, always represented as an East Coast rapper and I always had an affinity for New York rap and um, East Coast rap. So, you know, I felt like. As an origin, you know, as as an originator of hip hop, to you know, you know, uh, uh, New York had that sound, you know what I'm saying, and um, right, you know, I want to preserve that sound, and it always had, you know, that boom bap sound is kind of like an Indian drum, you know what I'm saying. So I was like, yo, we the last of the Mohicans, we the last of the Dogmen, you know what I'm saying. We the we the we the we the we the, we the Indians, just the warpath. We on the warpath. We killing MCs lyrically, you know what I'm saying. We taking yeah. them out, you know what I'm saying, and um. Yeah. That was my whole concept, and, and I dropped like three. Uh, it was like a three series installment. Then I started moving on to the warp, um, to the avalanche. You know what I'm saying? That was like the premiere of uh, <laughs> some other lyrical stuff. And then I dropped uh, the Piragua EP. You know what I'm saying? And then Maz Piragua, which is the album I got now, hitting um, it with it left and right. You know what I'm saying? I just like work. It's been doing it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it became from like. Every four years to every two years to every uh every every year now, you know what I'm saying? I've just been dropping and the music has been getting better and better, you know, more mastered and, and you know, uh better sounding quality and you know, um more yeah. available to the people as far as merchandise and you know, you'll notice as as the, the product got better and, and, and the disco discography got older, the 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 music, the latest music is um it's it's even more and better for people, so it's just developing. It's growing. It's maturing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. yeah, man. That's a beautiful thing. Yo, listen, listen. My man, my man, Mike Mountain didn't say, "I did this week after week." He said, "I just been consistent year after year after year after year, y'all." 
you gotta if you want it, you gotta really go get it. But it can't be just I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it now, 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 now. I'm gonna stop and now, now. no, man. You gotta go out there. You gotta grab it, man. If you can reach it, touch it. That's all I'm saying. So, yo, let me give you your flowers, King. That's love. Keep doing it. Yeah, don't ever, don't ever stop. You feel me? So, with that being said, let me ask you this, man. What, what, did, what does music really mean to you, bro? Like, what does it do for you? It's spiritual, man. It's, it's totally spiritual. It's, it's, it's a, you know, sound is wind. You know what mm. I'm saying? And um, spirits speak through through us through different different mediums. Um, some of us are clairvoyant. Some of us can see see spirits and see visions. Some of us dream visions. Some of us can um hear you know hear visions through the wind. You know when you see things, that's through light. Um. You know when 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 you uh when you dream things, you know what I'm saying. That's through emotions. You know what I'm saying. It's like all the different senses. You know they they, they it's, it's it's through the elements. You know what I'm saying. And um music is definitely that wind element. And yeah. and when 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 you hear certain frequencies, it brings out certain spirits and and certain um levels and chakras in your body that that yeah. you know what I'm saying that 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 you that you become um that you acquiesce to that you that you start to adapt to, you know, it, it, it makes your mood or in layman's terms, it makes your mood into whatever you hear. You know what I'm saying? It, it makes your mood. Um, it, it sets the mood. It sets the tone. Yeah. It's like the tone that you hear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so man. I like music that. Is a, is a very powerful tool. Music is a very powerful tool. And yeah. um, right now I feel like, you know, drill could be used in a good way, but, um, Right now, it's being used bad, and, and you know the frequency is 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 on a very low, low, low level. Yes, it's very it's low a little thawed off a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. It's, it's causing a lot of death. You know what I'm saying? It represents Scorpio, which represents power, sex, and death. Yeah. And, um, that's 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 what's what what vibration is um is being emitted right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The the that, negative that, aspects facts. of the negative aspects of Scorpio. There's good aspects to every sign. Right. You know what I'm saying? But um, they know when to hit us, you know what I'm saying? D different parts of the year, you know what I'm saying? Different days of the month, different moon phases, different planetary alignments. They they Facts. know when to hit us with, with certain frequencies, you know what I'm saying? Because that's that's the that's the day, that's the color, that's the the, the name, that's the that's the planet of the day. That's that's what it is and that's the agenda. And right. um if you notice right now, we're in the time of Aquarius um, right now. And um, mm -hmm. a lot of people are speaking the truth. As you just see, Joe Rogan got, you know, they, they let out some truth just now. You know what I'm saying? They, About Joe oh, Rogan. Man. And a they lot hit of, my mans. A lot of other things. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, if, you, if you notice, your, your spirit will compel you. Well, the planets don't compel us, but they propel us. And it will propel you to, right now, Aquarius will propel you to speak truths that that you need to get out in order for you to survive. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Preach. And a lot of times we do that through music. Which comes full circle back to what we were talking about. Yeah. Hey, I like it. I, <laughs> you remind me a lot like me. I swear, yeah. the way you describe things, just how in depth you, you go. Because yeah. I can tell you're getting it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So we, we definitely... Yeah, like I know in depth said, you go. We, we yeah, the frequencies, <laughs> they be aligned, man. And, 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 and lately, I've been meeting so many people that's been on that same high-ass frequency. And yeah. I love it because right now I need it. Word, I need word. it to help propel me to my next level because I see it and it's just time to go. You know what I mean? Exactly. exactly. So, so I definitely understand where you're coming from, man. Let me ask you this real quick. Besides music, and 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 I, you read a lot, huh? Do you read a lot? I, I have, I have in the past. Tom, um, I try to now. I like to read uh PDFs now. That's my thing. I like electric documents because I like how the screen glows. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yeah, so, I love um, it, man. So besides. Books. Besides everything you do in music, the things that you do with your family, the time, you know, all of that things, what do you do to practice self-love, man? I got to know. Because we're oh, connected. Man. I bet we on the same frequency for real. I stay away from negative people. 
I stay away from negative people's posts and videos. Um, ex friends who 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 never really uh had good intentions, I stay away from them. I stay away from their posts. I, I don't I don't I don't look back. You know what I'm saying? I really don't look back. Um uh, as far as I smoke good weed, I listen to music. Hey, I wake say it one more time for the people in the back. <laughs> I pray every day. I pray. I pray to. I yeah. pray to Yah. Yes. I pray to Yah every day. I can't say his full name because it's forbidden. I can't say his full name only but once every day. I say it twelve times in a prayer, um, and then I say Amen three times. You know what I mean? I say all of his holy titles. Well, I say three of his holy titles. Um, and I say, I say, praise God, the Holy Lord of Israel three times in the beginning. Um, and then I say his holy title was about nine times. I'm saying his ho holy name about a total of 12 times. And then I say, amen, three times. I do this every morning at seven o'clock when the sun rises, I have a, a, an alarm set to do that. Um, it's a good thing for good luck. It, it keeps you, um, it keeps you safe and protected. Um, I do that all the time. Um, you know, I, I manifest. The best time to manifest is during the new moon, up until a full moon, when that frequency is at a, at a top pitch. But you have to manifest low, 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 mm -hmm. and build it up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To a yeah. climax. You see what yeah. I'm saying? It's like how a movie, it starts off slow, and then it goes fast. Right. It's a roller coaster. Climax. Right, exactly. Like a roller coaster. <laughs> like a roller coaster. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yo, that's you know, all it is. Um, Things to that nation, man. Just, you know, and washing my ass and eating good food, man. You know, just self-love, bro. You Gotta eat saying? good food. Yo, eat good. My boy Nova you know? Bless. Shout out to Nova Bless. He always say, eat good, yo. Eat good. Yeah, that is very important. And I do exercise, you know what I'm saying? I do exercise. Uh, I really don't go out much, but um, right now, um, I just, uh, I do, I do little exercises around the house, you know what I'm saying? Um. Mm -hmm. You know, I do uh, I do stretches and and shit. You, you know, getting it in? You know, some calisthenics. You know what I'm saying here and there. You know what I'm saying, either once or twice a day, at least once. You know what I'm saying. I try to get at least a hundred reps in. Oh um, yeah, Henny, you big. Yeah, man. I just, I just, I just try to keep myself on point, and I try to surround myself with positive people and people that know more than me and stuff. Yeah, All right, thanks, yeah. mama. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, man. and, I, and I, I keep my family around. I keep my family around always. Yeah. Always. So it's, it it sounds like you're a man of unity. You know, yeah, I'm a man of yeah. unity. That's very important for me to I unify to the people around me, man. How is it? How important is it for you? It's very important because I tend to see the world as interconnected. You know what I'm saying? I grew up as a. I come from a very mixed family of multinational heritage. And I grew up around different cultures and, and different um, races as, as a child. So I, I kind of relate to different people and I see different aspects and mm -hmm. I see how there's through lines that mm -hmm. cross and intersect. And mm -hmm. I'm not talking about intersectionality and all of that. I'm, I'm not. Right. I it's have mind no stance on that. <laughs> but right. I do see how things interconnect and we have commonalities. Um, as well as differences, and I appreciate each other for that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So unity um, is is very important. And family, the most important thing is a family unit, and that's man, woman, and child. That's the mm -hmm. that's the most very. Now, God bless my mother. She had to leave my pops because he was messing up. May he rest in peace. May may God be pleased with him, and love it and beloved and beloved memory, and blessed memory, my father. But um, my mother did the best that she could as as a single mother, and um, I think I turned out pretty good. Um, I had a lot of setbacks, but I turned out pretty good. But I know that if my father was doing what he had to do, my mother wouldn't have had to leave, and I would have had a lot better upcoming and in, 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 um, in an environment coming up. So having um the mother and the father there, who are both fit to be parents, should I say? Yeah, is is the best the best idea for uh, uh, a child and it's the, it's the foundations for civilization itself yeah see what i'm saying for community family starts community community is a nation a nation is civilization you know what i'm saying so big facts big facts you know?
Yeah, I definitely agree with you there, man. Yo, community, unity, all of that, self-love, all of that is amazing things that if you can Im implement it into your life, yo, it, it'll change you. Let me tell you, <laughs> it really will. It'll but make you feel, moms, it'll make you feel. Moms, best mom in the world, best mom in the world, gotta say Yo, that. hey, big, hold on, let me, let me make you bigger so we can let her know for sure. Go big ahead, let moms, her have it. Best mom. <laughs> Love you, mommy. Yeah, Get yeah, with yeah. Your... Yeah, you know yo, saying? much love to your mother, man. Yo, much everybody, everybody that's watching this. Much Even though we don't get along sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you positive. understand I gave you your you know? love. <laughs> you <know? laughs> I love it, man. Hey, so you mentioned an album that's out right now. Yeah. yeah Tell me about Mas, it, man. What's it called? Where can they find it? Called Mas Piragua. That's that's Pure Agua. That's P I R. A G U A. That's Piragua. Mas Piragua. Just look up Mike Mountain. M I C M O U N T A I N. Mike Mountain. Um, two words. M I C Mountain. Um, it's uh, it's you can find it on all all uh, down, uh, uh, streaming platforms. All digital streaming platforms, from uh, iTunes to YouTube to uh, SoundCloud to title and uh uh any any place that they have music you can find it at um you can go to my website at mikemountain.com that's m-i-c-m-o-u-n-t-a-i-n.com hey. you can find me at facebook at mike mountain fan page you can find me at uh twitter at mike mountain you can find me at instagram at um the real mike mountain um I'm all over the place. SoundCloud. I'm gonna put Mike all Mountain. them links in there too. <laughs> Mike, Mountain, Mike Mountain, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? You can find me all over the place. But um, if you want to find uh my latest songs, check me out at YouTube at Mike Mountain. Um, and um, all my blogs and all my interviews, including this one, a copy of this will be hey. at uh, MikeMountain.com. www.MikeMountain.com. So. All love, all love, man. Hey, man, before we do jump off, plus we got to motivate the people still. Let me first tell you this, man. This is our first time actually officially meeting. You know what I mean? Thanks again for being on the show, brother. And let me tell you, let me scoot it up so you can understand. I, I'll let everybody know. <laughs> Yo, I'm proud of you, man. I love the way you articulate things. I love the way you understand. I love the high frequency that you're rolling on. I love the positivity. Keep it up. Don't ever quit because you never know who you're motivating. You know, a lot of our peers and friends and family tend to, they get motivated and inspired silently. They'll never tell you. So just you keep doing it. Watching. Keep doing it. Yeah, you never know who's watching. Keep doing it for them. But most importantly, do it for yourself, your mother, your family. Yeah. You know what I mean? Handle your business. And don't ever quit because, bro, I know a lot of people. I will come find you. I'm going to come knock on your door. Uh, Mike, um, I had to move a couple mountains to get over here. <laughs> get your ass up. Let's go. Let's go make some music. Let's go inspire the world. Let's just have a dope conversation. So hey, keep man. it up, brother. I'm proud Once of you, you, King. you got the weed, I got the blunts. Hey, I got hey, I like that. I like that. <laughs> I definitely like that. Hey man, but if you have one piece of advice that you can give to anybody in the world, what would that one piece of advice be, my brother? Don't tell people you love them because we hurt people that we say we love. Tell them I love you, I respect you, and I'm loyal to your experience here on earth. Mm, That's it. Mm. Mm. mm, mm. Mm, I love it. Y'all heard the man. I hope y'all really pay attention to this interview right here. This was very dope. But I'm going to tell you this much. If you're not on the right frequency, it's going to go right over your head. <laughs> it's definitely going to go right over your head, man. Well, y'all already know my... Y'all already know my three pieces of advice. And to go a little something like this, I need you to smile, laugh, and definitely motivate. Inspire one to inspire all. And last but not least, I need you to just be the best version of your goddamn self That's and right. be comfortable doing it. And yo, once you do that, help spread the love to others. And we out. Good job.